This is Rummy's Corner. Rummy's Corner. Good evening, boxing fans, and welcome back to the latest in the top 10 by decade ranking experiment. Here in part 16, our focus is on the junior flyweight division. And as always, we will be utilizing Ring Magazine's rich archive of historical rankings in order to try and objectively determine the top 10 junior flyweights from each decade. Ring Magazine only began doing annual rankings for the junior flyweight division in 1991, so in this episode, that is where we will begin. At the conclusion of 1991, these were the top-rated junior flyweights according to Ring Magazine. Hiroki Ioka is the top name on the list, so he gets 10 points. Young Wu Yu is next, and he gets 9 points. We continue scoring points like this until we reach the 10th name, Robinson Cuesta, and he gets 1 point. There are 10 names on this list, but sometimes it's 11 or more. We only care about the top 10 names on any given list. If we go ahead and do this for every year from 1991 through 1999, the final result looks like this. Michael Carbajal had the top score with an impressive 58 points. Melker Cobb Castro had an impressive 50 point total of his own. And in eighth place, we have Myung Woo Yu who also finished as a top 10 flyweight in the 1980s. So that's two total lists for him. Moving on to the double O's, Nelson Dieppa had the top score with 43 points. In fourth place, we have Pitchett Sirawat, and that's his second consecutive decade as a top 10 junior flyweight. For Brian Valoria and Edgar Sosa, both of these guys also currently stand as top 10 flyweights in the current decade. And Hugo Fidel Cazares was a top 10 junior bantamweight in the double O's. So two lists total for all of those guys. And this was the only decade for this weight class where we had a complete data set. And looking at this list, it's unusual to see that none of the top four guys were ever considered the best at the conclusion of any of these years. And now even though the current decade is not yet complete, through the end of 2017, the list looks like this. Donnie Nietes currently stands in the top spot with 45 points. And Nietes is also currently a top 10 flyweight in the current decade, as is Roman Gonzalez. And this is also the second consecutive decade as a top 10 junior flyweight for Ulises Solis. But the current decade isn't finished, so we will just have to wait and see. Most dominant decades for junior flyweights under this scoring system? We have Michael Carbajal, Melker Cobb Castro, and Saman Sojacharo, all from the 90s. Then we have Nietes from the current decade. In total, only two junior flyweights appeared on multiple top 10 lists. Ulises Solis, and Pitchett Sirawa. And then if we add up all the totals we have data for here, the final result looks like this. Sirawa had the top score with 69 points, and then it was Cobb Castro with 62, Carbajal with 58, and there really wasn't a whole lot of data to work with for this weight class. So going forward with the ranking experiment, we have just one weight class left. Then it's the grand finale, top 100 countdown, and after that, I'll close out the series with a summary recap episode. So please stay tuned as we head towards the final stretch, and thanks for watching everyone, have a great night.